Hello everyone, it's Amanda Watson from MrsWatsonEducation.com, my personal blog where I share with you, the other teachers of the world, some tips and tricks I've picked up along the way to help make your lives as an educator a little bit easier, right? I'm filming this in 2020 and we have so many new challenges ahead of us that we never anticipated before. So hopefully this video will help you out. But today's topic is how to extend your computer display to your classroom projector. And this is going to become so important since some of us are having to teach students who are physically in the classroom with us and also teach students who are logging in remotely through Zoom, Teams, or whatever platform you have, and you only have one computer to do that. So how can you make that work? Well, let's look and see. So I'm going to stop sharing my screen and it's going to look a little funny for a second. And um, now, oh yeah, that's me. Yeah, super funny. Um, I'm going to go back to another share setting. So just give me a second. There we go. I'm going to minimize. Um, and most computers that you have come with a standard default that doesn't make it very friendly to do this. I'm going to kind of explain that to you. So on my desktop, all I'm going to do is right click with my mouse and go down to where it says display settings on the bottom right there. Now I'm going to go down to display settings and you can see I have two screens project uh, right here. I have two displays, but that's no, doesn't make sense. I only have one screen in front of me. Well, when you have your projector connected to your computer like most classrooms have, that is automatically set as a second display. It's like a second monitor for your computer. And I'm going to show you. So you're gonna scroll down and there's a whole other bunch of things you can do, but the, what I want you to do is go to where it says multiple displays. And the default is going to be that it's duplicated. Okay, I'm gonna keep changes because that's the default. That's what most people have right now as it is. So what I'm going to do now is I'm gonna allow my other computer to join the meeting. Um, and my other computer is facing this way so you can see what that screen looks like. So let me show you. So this is my projector screen behind me. You can see it right there and you can see my screen in front of me as well, right? So this screen um, on my projector looks exactly the same. If I do something here, it happens over there because it's duplicating the picture. And that's gonna be problematic right now because in the future I have to have students on Teams and I can't let my students in my classroom see them, but I still need to figure out a way to present material there. So I'm going to show you the easiest way to do that with that one computer without having to go get a lot of new technology. So what you're going to do again, I'm going to at my desktop, right click, go down to where it says display settings. It's going to pop up and you can see both of them are being duplicated right there. I don't like that. I don't, that doesn't work for me right now. So I'm going to scroll down where it says duplicate these displays, multiple displays, and I'm going to select extend these um, displays. I'm going to keep the changes and now you can see behind me, my screen does not look the same after all, right? Right here you can see this, this um, settings features and back there it's just a blue screen. So what can I do with that now? So let me show you. So now if I pull up things that might be handy like Teams, right? I might need to be in Teams next year. Um, and this is going to be on my computer, but notice it's not on my projector screen. That's a win. So I could do things like this. I can open up another browser and have that up there. So now my YouTube channel is up there. You can see it right here on my projector screen, but it's not up here and still working from that same single computer, which is fabulous, okay? You could also do things like present a PowerPoint presentation or a, I use Google Slides. So a Google Slides presentation. So you could have your material being distributed still on your projector, but look, in front of me on my screen, there's still nothing there. So that's going to be really, really helpful. Um, there's a few things I wanna show you though, just to help make your life a little bit easier. So if that was easy, once again, right click, go down to display settings. Um, this right here, so this little feature right here allows you to move this um, computers, which one's going to be the main screen, okay? And move them around. So this is kind of funny, right? So if you don't know what computer is your main screen, normally your laptop or your desktop is going to be identified as one, but you could click this button below that says identify, and it's going to show briefly on the screens, you see two over here, one over there, which one's which. And now I can move two around to where I want it to. And this means that my mouse, and I use a wireless mouse to make this a little easier. If I move my mouse watch to the right, my mouse will show up on this screen over here. You can see it kind of moving around on the bottom there, right? Um, and the only problem with that is it gets a little funky to kind of navigate and like 
look around and do that, but you'll get used to it. And my students are always like, why are you guys turning around? Why don't you just look at the screen? But they're so used to teachers only having the, dupli um, the duplicate display settings up and they don't realize that this is, that's what I'm doing. Um, so this is hopefully going to be helpful for a lot of you. If you want to maybe move your mouse to the left instead to get to that screen, then you just flip that around and move your mouse to the left and it will go there. Um, right? Or you can move it up. Right, um, and those are just some features there. I like to, oh, you have to apply. I like it going there, but if I want to apply to the left, right, choo, 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 choo. now my mouse is over there on the left, right? If I wanted to go up, apply it, move my mouse up, and now it's there over there, right? So um, all those things are easily done. Remember, identify to figure out what screens you have, move it around, apply, and don't forget to right click and change it to a display settings. So hopefully that helped you out um, and you enjoyed that. My, uh, there's a little trick that will make your life a little bit easier using only one computer for the things we're being asked to do. Now, don't forget, um, I have a lot of other blog tutorials on my, um, my blog, mrswatsoneducation.com. I have a YouTube channel. You can see it back here. Uh, let me go through here with so many different tips and tricks that might be handy for you. Um, yeah, I was having trouble navigating that. Oh, there we go. Great. Let me show you this. As the rain starts going through. I can't even get this to work right now. Okay. Um, sorry, I exited out of that. I was going to show you this, but it's fine. It doesn't have to happen. Anyways, um, check me out for on YouTube, um, Mrs. Watson Education. I have lots of resources that you might find helpful. Hopefully this one was helpful and I have a meeting to get to right now. So see you later. Bye. Bye.